that thought is grabbing me because i have imposed pleasure in the object raga yesterday we saw that if i want to get out of a thought because i have imposed dvesha dislike on the object whichever object i dislike the thought of it will make me cringe oh, i don't want to think about it whichever object i like the thought of it is oh so sweet when you love somebody have you seen have you seen people or yourself when you love somebody or something when that thought comes about the person or thing how do you feel very comfortable enjoying yourself <laughs> the person you love are you getting that the person you love the object you love you like a particular paisam or a sweet and as you 9 o'clock as you passing by the kitchen you got the smell of it hey today they are making that paisam until 3 hours you are wonderful you know ooh, ooh. why lovely paisam you are thinking of that just an example you love somebody that person is coming oh your whole day is made why you are thinking suppose you hate somebody and that person is coming your day is spoiled why the day is spoiled not that something happens in the day huh? sunlight becomes dark or uh, uh, space becomes cloudy nothing happens but inside your head there is a cloud uh, uh, uh. thoughts so if you want freedom moksha mokshasya akanksha yadi vaita vasti learn to handle your thought how tyajati durad vishayan visham yatha in the beginning stages vishayan vishavat tyaja in the beginning stages of your life when you are preparing for the studies vishayan vishavat tyaja listen carefully i deliberately give that idea that in the beginning stages why because just like in a diabetic patient you are when you are a diabetic patient you are going into the hospital when you go to hospital why do you go to hospital they are they successfully keep you away from every type of sweet if you stay at home your brother may give you a visitor may give you somebody may give you or you yourself can sneak in and have a little chocolate so in the hospital situation everything is kept away from you and once they cure you just take an example once they cure you is not that thereafter you should never touch the chocolate no you must know how to manage your food same thing also in life before i come to get this knowledge by myself now this object seems to have completely overtaken me because of my imposing pain and pleasure on the object i have developed definite like and dislike yesterday i explained to you perception is natural sensation is natural repeating the sensation is yours are you getting that perception is natural with your eyes you shall see you can't stop the ears you cannot escape listening to the sounds perception is natural while eating food taste also is natural sensation is natural but to repeat that sensation is it natural or artificial artificial that is why suppose you like a taste you develop a taste for it everybody doesn't like tahri chadam curd rice everybody doesn't like uh, spices everybody doesn't like cauliflower or uh, cabbage somebody likes it are you getting that somebody likes it whoever likes it he goes on repeating it some people cannot stop eating bread some people cannot stop eating idli some people cannot stop eating mixture some people cannot stop eating biscuit when you go to a huge uh, party so many different dishes are placed you shall see there will be concentration of people in one one places 
Suppose you like Golgofa, Pani Puri. Oh, listening to it, your saliva will come. Just listening to it, Pani Puri. Oh, Swamiji, don't tell, don't torture. In ashram, Pani Puri not available. Why talk about it? <laughs> Suppose you don't understand Pani Puri. You know, why Pani Puri? Why are you disturbed? What is there in Pani Puri? Because you don't even know what it is. <laughs> are you getting that point, please? So artificially, again and again, you have repeated that thing. Repetition is yours. There is a difference between animal repeating it and a human being repeating it. When an animal repeats it, helplessly animal repeats it. And that is why animals will kill each other for something. The animal will kill each other. Suppose there is a food. You shall see, look at the hunter. When uh, the tiger has hunted on deer, it has kept there. It will go again and again, it will go back to that place because he, had, he has killed it. Like our wild cat who came and hunted the peacock. Came back again and again to the same spot. Why? It has left it. So, two things I told you about the animal food, the taste, and the touch. Food and sex. Two things. So they will kill each other for the female. The alpha male. Alpha male means the big boy. He will kill everybody. Throw out everybody. Until he is old and he is killed or thrown out. It's a ruthless world. Human being. You shall try to repeat it for food, sex or anything. But you will not allow yourself to be killed unless you are like an animal. The moment you know there is a competition, you can always gracefully walk out. Okay. If he is interested in somebody, let her have it. Let him have it. How does it matter to me? You get away. Why? What is the worry? But how many people can do that? For a, in a particular picture, in auction, eh? in auction, there is a painting, there is an auction. People can go to the extent of being poor. They can give away everything. But I want to have it. That house I must purchase. That car I must have it. If it, if it means to sell everything, I will sell everything. But I must have that house. Have you not seen people doing it? It's like animal tendency. So be very careful. Okay, watch out. One, one thought. That is why in the beginning stages, you keep away from the object because if you see the object, you remember it. Usually, if you don't see it, you don't remember. Understand? Out of sight, out of mind. Not necessarily true, but out of sight. If you stay away from something, usually after some time it becomes out of mind. In a few days you may remember it. After a few days you forget it. Not necessarily true, because out of sight, Means, in time it will be out of mind, it may be. But sometimes it may be, may not be also. But if it is out of mind, it is definitely out of sight. Out of sight need not be out of mind. But if it is out of mind, in spite of the sight, it means nothing to you. Are you getting that point? When you don't love somebody anymore, you are not obsessed with that person anymore. The same person can hang around all the time. It doesn't mean anything to you. Why? There is nothing. Out of sight, not necessarily out of mind. But out of mind means, it doesn't matter out of sight or in the sight. It makes no difference. Okay. But long before you reach that stage, first it is out of sight. So that you help yourself to be out of mind. Because you don't know yet how to handle your thoughts. That is why for some time, keep yourself away from the sense of the...